Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. This morning, we're gonna look at one of the best values probably in the United States for a pre-owned marathon. And this is coach 836. So let's go take a look. One thing, let's look at the outside first, Armand, but one thing I wanna show you is about half hour ago, 40 years ago, Armand and I were just talking about this, about a half hour, 40 years ago, 172 miles that way, Mount St. Helens erupted. So ash and effects were seen for hundreds of miles, including all the way down here in the Coburg, Eugene, Springfield area of Oregon. So uh, for those of you who remember what you were doing uh, 40 years ago in 1980, uh, a lot of us, uh, I was, uh, gosh, I was six years old, so I was wearing a mask uh, to first grade. My sister and I were talking about that this morning, what were we were doing 40 years ago for Mount St. Helens. Coach 836, let's get to it. I said this is one of the best values in the United States, and I'm gonna show you why. This coach is a 2004 XL double slide, one owner, custom ordered in 2004, always garaged, one owner. I'll put this coach from this era up against any other coach. This is a great value and it's been extremely well taken care of. You see the beautiful paint job. I'm going to show you a few pieces of that paint job. We're going to go around the back side of the coach where we've got the, uh, the diesel still running. It's got a real slight as you can see, motif going across it that's really stylish and is held up. You can also see it here on the fenders. It's got these gold flames that are not real strong, but they stand out and they're shadowed in right up there. Isn't that beautiful? I think looking over this coach completely, you can really see you guys how well it's been maintained. For a 2004, I haven't even told you the best part of that. More flames here on the side, over that fender that looks really cool. TVs have been upgraded. Take a look at that entertainment bay. Look at this slide out. Look how clean that is. And what a nice slide out. It's got the Marathon logo on it. Stainless out there. Automatic right here. Just pull it in, pull it out. Really good for organizing, whether you're packing or unpacking or organizing or you just need something, that's really nice. All right, let's head on inside. Marathon logo at the entry door and you guys ready for this? 83,000 miles. One owner always garaged. All right, come on in. You've got a TV right above Armand's head that you're not gonna be able to see because the coach is running right now. And I'm gonna uh, stick with us because we're actually gonna drive this coach this morning also. This, as a double slide, real, and I think this probably stood out to Armand this morning too, and he's actually done other videos in this coach. This is, a, there's a lot of room in this coach. Um, everything works in this coach. This is a really great value, 2004 X3, XL double slide. One of the most unique things about this floor plan, and I love how big this table is right here. It's got these beautiful chairs. Look at, look at everything is in amazing condition in this coach. It's got this really nice carpet in here. Um, it's got a pop-up TV right here. I'm not gonna pop it up right now for you, but believe me, there's a pop-up TV that comes up out of here so that you can watch it. You can reposition these if you're not gonna watch the, the cockpit TV. But also, 
um, it's got this, this uh, large sofa over here. Look at this dinette, you guys, something very rarely seen in a marathon, but a lot of people appreciate it. Look at the natural light that comes in on this coach. There's no curio cabinets on the slide outs here. So what you've got is a lot of room, a lot of real estate to be able to sit in here. What is this? Oh, very nice. Plug in. You could uh, pull your laptop up here. You could eat. You could have your morning coffee and read the paper, what have you. Um, I really like this. I, you know, we don't do it very often, but here's, a, here's an example of a custom coach that was ordered in 04. This is what the uh, wanted, and it's done very nicely. It really, really is. And so um, I don't get to see these uh, too often, so I'm a little excited about um, this, this dinette. All right, so lots of storage throughout this coach and really cool features. So stick with us because what we're gonna do at the end is we're gonna pull the slides in and drive it around the building. All right, in this galley on the driver's side, you've got bottle storage for wine behind the glass, but you've got a full set of marathon glasses, which is really cool to see in its original state. Uh, the marathon etched glasses, both wine and rocks glasses for cocktails. Now, the triple lazy, that's what Armand and I were calling it this morning. The triple lazy Susan, there's a lot of storage that can be had down here. These guys spin, and one of the details, take a look at this. You can snap it so that in transit, it doesn't move. You snap it in two different locations. Isn't that fantastic? Lots of storage. Good countertop space over here. Good countertop space over here. Dish drawer, so your dishwasher is there. Convection microwave oven. This is a sharp carousel right here. And it's behind cabinetry, isn't that nice? In an 04, you don't usually see it behind cabinetry. Doesn't look like that thing's even been used. Uh, sink, very large sink. Uh, you know, usually I don't show you guys the sink, but I wanna show you, look how large and deep that sink is. And it's, and it's hard surfaces, it's Corian. So it's not, it's just aesthetically very pleasing. Original owner's manual. How cool is that? Coach 836, I'll put that right back in here. You know, you can really tell how well this coach was taken care of. Uh, cooktop right there. Okay. Sub-Zero refrigerator and freezer below. What's this right here? Let's find out. Oh yeah, there's just a little cutout right there. That's nice. You know one thing you could do? You could eliminate this drawer right here, this, uh, this uh, shelf, and you could put a coffee machine inset in there if you wanted to. Or you could have it as that closed cabinetry for spices or what have you. Gosh, lots of storage in here, really cool. Sub-Zero, that's nice also. All right, oh, you know what? Because we haven't covered up um, this carpet and we cleaned it, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Armand's already got his off. So I'm gonna show you my Kermit the Frog socks. For those of you who don't know, my, my daughter who's one years old, her name is Henson, and she's named after Jim Henson, who uh, ironically passed away 30 years ago this weekend also. Uh, so check this out. Here's the water closet. It's split. This is the driver's side. Really good size water closet. Has a pocket door to close it off. Good space, good storage, several drawers. That's really nice. And then this is kind of in the S curve of this floor plan. This is a real unique feature. This, this is an access panel, so this actually opens to, to show you storage. I'm gonna move. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. I think it's that. Oh no, that op that opens that up. We'll we'll leave that closed. But behind here is additional storage, and you've got this backlit feature. Now, in some coaches, backlit features are dated. This one just really isn't, you guys, because it's not too gaudy. You can you can hold on one light, 
you can, as you can see, it's rotating through the lights. You could hold it on that white light when it gets there. So if you didn't like it rotating through, big shower, um, but what a cool feature. Storage behind here, it's a nice touch. Stacking Ascos, washer dryer right here. And then here we are in the bedroom of 836. You've got a whole vanity with lots of storage and uh, a sink right there. These are your hampers. Storage above the bed, storage below the audio visual down here, upgraded TVs. There's a lot of storage in this coach. All right, now check out the storage here. We've talked about large closets, right? Man, and I've got the diesel running, so you're gonna hear it vibrating a little bit because I'm literally sitting on the backside. This is a very large closet. I'm not even touching the walls. This is about a five foot bar with a two foot extension over there. Look at all of this space up here. I mean, this could be a bunk for a grandchild. Look at the size of that. And uh, five drawers over here. Very large drawers. And also room above here, I see a couple of Nike boxes that I could put up here. That's the way I look at it. You could put Nike box, you know, your, my running shoes up there. I need to run more, you guys. I'm getting back into running. I need to, I need to run more. Let's do that, let's do that. Big fan of that rear closet, it's huge. So anyway, 836, let's pull this slide in while we're standing right here. Um, <clears throat> I'm checking my area to make sure um, there's uh, no cats or dogs or anything in the area. Armand's gonna unlock this so I can show, oh my goodness, would you look at that. And it actually has a built-in vacuum. Down there. Oh, very cool. Slide in coming out. So Armand just pointed out that's an automatic actuator that opens that door and closes it. Gosh, that's nifty. And as he just mentioned, it has a vacuum that's built in there. Okay, very cool. The rear slide is uh, in. I'm gonna slip my shoes back on because the, the uh, front carpet is covered, but the rear carpet is not. So I wanted to make sure that we did the whole shoe thing to respect just how clean. Crestron system, TVs upgraded throughout. We got the door open, so we're gonna bring this slide in on the front slide. It's just a really nice floor plan. It's got that subtle S-curve to the floor plan, that unique bar style dinette on the driver's side, the very, very large occasional table uh, with the two, um, two recliners. Those recliners, I, I mean, gosh, they don't, they barely, they look, well, they look like the rest of the coach, extremely well maintained. All right, we are in. And I'm gonna close this, uh, this door here. And we're gonna take this, uh, this guy for a spin around the block. All right, checking my mirrors and my rear view camera. Everything is clear. All right, headlights on them. Usually, as you guys know, have the flashers on in the parking lot, but because it's a, a tick, tick, tick for the microphone, we're gonna turn that off, foot on the brake. All right, hope everyone had a good weekend. I know a lot of uh, communities across uh, the United States. You know what I'm gonna do first? Put the brake on, I'm gonna fix this right here. There we go, a little bit of tilt. There we go. So there's a... Armand, there you go. All 
Alright. Just wanted to show you guys this is um this is a really nice coach to drive. That beep's gonna go off in just a bit here, you guys. What I tell you. Just like I planned it. Anyway. You know, we're uh, here at Marathon. We are still practicing social distancing because it's probably the responsible thing to do. A lot of communities, including our county, uh, are, have entered a, what they call a phase one of uh, reopening. Uh, but as you know, Marathon still uh, moving right along from our three locations, Florida and Texas. They are open to take care of your coaches whether it be a remodel or service or sales and uh, here at the, what we like to call the mothership in Coburg we are in full production and our service department as you're going to be able to see as we go around this turn here is very busy right now everything from remodels as you saw on last week's show it's break time so a bunch of our People are going to go out and take a break, take a walk. Here's a couple of our engineers taking a walk. There's beautiful Coach 1318 in here for, for service. What a beautiful paint job. So yeah, everybody, that's, uh, that's pretty much it here in the Pacific Northwest where, like I mentioned at the top of the show, we're commemorating Mount St. Helens 40 years ago this morning, erupting, and uh, you know, this was, a, this was a blank field 40 years ago. Marathon's uh, corporate headquarters was built in uh, 1994. What a nice, quiet coach. Anyway, reach out to me. This coach is for sale, and it's a great value. So 80, 86,000 miles. I think I said 83 at the top of the show. I want to be exact. 86,000 miles, one owner, 2004 custom coach. This coach retailing for 399000 That's retailing for 399000 So call me. Email me, malw at marathoncoach.com. If you're interested in this coach, I think it would be a really great coach for someone to either upgrade to, get out of a fiberglass coach, get out of a, an RV and into a, a bus conversion. This is a really great value and a great coach. Um, and uh, I can't say enough about this coach. Other than be yourself and do good things, have a good week. Uh, email me. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know if you need anything. This is a great time to buy a coach, everybody. Take care.